just got John off to school, so I'm bringing Piglet her soaked grain. It's alfalfa pellets, grass hay pellets, and goat grain, and then her prebiotics, probiotics, and then molasses. Piggers! Piggy wee! Hello! Piglet! Hey! <laughs> you ignoring me. Miss Piggy! Hey! Come here! You got your food. You just want to snuggle your babies, huh? Come on. Look what I got. Come here, sweet girl. There's a girl. Oh, yes. Mushy mushies. There's the babies back there. Here your babies. I still haven't seen the smaller one nurse. I had to give up at 12.30 last night. The baby was up and talking and just being busy, but couldn't convince the little stinker to find the teat and stay there. And finally at 12.30 a.m. I went in the house. So, and John, he was actually out here with me because, you know, this is his goat. And so it was a late night for both of us. So good luck to John's teacher today. The kids had just about six hours of sleep. Um, yeah. Piglet, enjoying your grain. That'll help keep her... I soaked it. It slows them down when they're eating it, so it's less likely that they'll choke. It's, uh, and it's also got the moisture in case she's not wanting to walk out to her water bucket. And yes, I could make it easier and put the water bucket over here, but it's important to get these mamas moving. And so the water bucket is still at the other end of the pen, so that she has she has to get moving. She's got to be walking, which is good for her. So, But I did soak the grain and everything else. Nikki, you little stinker, that's not yours. I brought Piglet out a handful of alfalfa and a handful of um, dandelion leaves, and Nikki is happily helping herself. There you go, Piglet. While Piglet's distracted, let's go check on the babies. Hey, kids. You have straw, and yet you pick the one spot your mom has got down to dirt. Seriously, girls? Pretty sure they're both girls. And I'm pretty sure they both have their daddy's blue eyes. And yes, the uh, little one has been nursing. She's very demanding about nursing. All the green goodies. Piglet's moving a little slower today, but uh, that's to be expected. But she's got a good appetite. She's been eating, she's been drinking. Um, so, yep, yeah, doing good. so good. No, there's no grain in there. Your grain's in your stall. Yeah, it's in your stall. It's right over there. No, it's not in there. No, it's not. No, it's over here. Hey, what? Hey, how's your grain? There's your grain. Nikki. No, it's not yours. Nope, not yours. So this is new. Yesterday my friend and her daughter were over and we spent a few hours or so. I'm not, I literally lost track of time. I have no idea how long it took us. Um, but we busted out this pen yesterday. I've still got to... So the gate is not on completely. When Henry gets home from school this evening, he's going to help me hang this gate and create the hinges. Because all it is is just you cut the wire on these panels and you bend it around. But we'll actually we'll bend it a little bit further so it's touching this and a critter can't snag themselves on this. But this pen is pretty much, well, okay, it's not done. Um, the log up there will come back down. But this is a winter's worth of mulch 
from this last winter and I use the rototiller to till it up so it's soft and it's easier to move out to the gardens and I just literally put it right on the gardens right on top of flower beds around fruit trees you name it and it's ready to go this is literally excellent amazing soil for the gardens is ready to go right now so that's what I've been doing except I managed to trap myself I wasn't thinking about this when I hung the gate last night um, I mean I'm not trapped I just have to move this old hay feeder and move a few things but it's coming along it's getting closer to being the new goat pen slash cow and whatever else right the nice part about that pen is I've actually got enough room I could split it in half and have two runs in there if I need to split things. My goal with that pen is this pen um, will be for bower does. I could have four of them in there. And so that would be like our bower goats where they could hang out in mass congregation. <laughs> kind of like Aurora and Kelly do over here. So like um, if, if, if they don't need to be you know separated like because of babies or they're growing or separate feed they could be all in one pen hanging out together if they you know as long as they're getting along but i do like to have separate pens for critters that need like more feed than somebody else or if they're being bullied or if they are a bully they need to be separated it just it helps keep the peace around here so nikki that was quite the yawn there kid but anyway, that's what we got done yesterday. This pen here, so you can see how far I'm moving it. We'll gain some, bring it in. Anyway, Bobby the steer is behind the boys here. And these boys, they're for sale along with Mr. BJ the buck who's snoozing and Kelly and Bear the other um, goat. But anyway, these guys are making room. And so what I'm gonna be doing is taking where these boys are, it'll come forward and then the steers pen, you can see it just past the hay feeder there. It, what I'm gonna do is create, so the, the steer pen is long going that direction, so I just open it out to pasture easier. And then behind this pen, let me go show you guys. So we got this one here. I mean, you can see how wide this thing is. I could put another shelter right there and split this thing in half if I need to. But anyway. Behind this pen I'm in right now. Where's the Bobby? Oh, you're snoozing up there now? And he took his one water barrel and brought it clear back here to the corner. He likes headbutting it. He's a stinker. But anyway, this space here, this is currently Bobby's pen. Goes to Bobby. Um, right here, behind this existing new goat pen, I'm going to create another one. So it'll be, oh... Just about 20-ish feet wide, I'm guessing. And like a 20 by 12-ish, kind of sort of like that. Um, and that'll be another pen that I can use right here for if I need to separate anybody out. I can use it for a few different does. And if I decide to get that crazy hair and do sheep, I could do a couple sheep or so at a time. Bobby is growing so much, it's ridiculous. That steer has just been growth spurt like crazy. You come give me loves? Come here. Come here. You come show the people what you like to do? I like to give kisses. Everything has to be licked by you. Well, it's true. Yeah. Need some more fly spray, buddy. Flies are awful today. It was cool weather, so the flies were just not a bother, but now the weather's warming up and they're out like crazy, so.